Heading into Toronto, I'm feeling good because I heard the ranks were smaller. I'm feeling bad about basically everything else because they're Canadians and if I can be racist real quick, they're good at hockey. After we had such a disappointing first weekend, I think the stakes are just different. I think we were going out there to have fun, look at this cool event. Then after getting ragged by Dave and ragged by everyone in the office, it's like, all right, we got to take our nuts in our hand and win some hockey games here. And it's, it, the, the stakes are just different. The urgency is higher. We have to win some hockey games. Canada is going to be a different game. It's a different pond. It's a different stratosphere. We're in the great white north. We're in somebody else's hometown, not ours. So we're going to show up to play and show up to win. New Hampshire was a dumpster fire. They did not play well. So I thought there was a lot of room for improvement in Canada. And I knew if you want to win in Canada, you need to have some Canadians. Kelly Babstock, pro player, Quinnipiac All-Star. She is a beast. Yeah, a couple new teammates. We added Kelly Babstock, we added memes. Coach Nardini brought a lot of good things to the table and I think Kelly might have been the best one. Our last coach just brought like edibles and things and that was it. It was negative 19 Celsius, which I think is negative 1,000 degrees. So as soon as I saw like tugboats and fucking cruise ships in the water, I knew that we were dealing with a different kind of people. Oh, Canada! Me lads and ladies, boys and girls, and to all hockey players on the pond, they will bring you exciting pond hockey tournament right here on magical Lake Muskoka. Always remember, where there's hockey, there's Duncan. Oh, good. I pray for Team Barstool, since they have never, never won a game in New Hampshire. They did tie once. So now, let's play hockey. Fuck. Ah! I, think, uh, I think it's 0-3 guaranteed. Goal differential, like, minus 15, minus 20. Game, game over. Hey, baby, let's go. Fucking love you, Babs. Oh, oh, yeah, oh Babs. there you go. There go. The new signing is paying off. Hey, memes. Go, go, memes. Shoot it. Nice ah. Let's go. I think we're up 6-3 now. We look a lot better. Yeah, really. Make that 7-3. Make it 7-3. Short ice is good for us. Short ice is real good for us. My teeth hurt, it's really cold. But hey, we're playing really well right now, we're actually playing defense. Uh, it's a good half, boys. Great half. Great half. Great job. Oh, yeah, guys, let's just keep passing the plug. If we don't get lazy, we'll be fine. Wait, this is what we need. Let's go. Hey, let's win a fucking hockey game. How about it? All me, I'm eating this one, I'm eating this one. Fuck. These guys back. We're losing momentum a little bit. You guys, you have to win. I got you. What the fuck? That score is not right. I think we got confu mass confusion with the scoreboard. It says, uh, I think it might say we're losing. It's not right. It's not a joke. We're actually ahead. I don't know. It's going to be big time controversy at the end of the game. These guys can't call. This guy fucked up the score. It was tied 2020 and he has it as 1920. He can't lift a thing fast now. What the fuck is that? That's <laughs> Some say there might have been a scoring problem. It was the clearest scoring problem in the history of the world. You guys, we got an addition problem with the scoreboard. Also, the technology of our scoreboards fucking sucks. But we held it into the end. Two goals in the last minute is legit. We just have to win the next two. Like I said earlier, when you're in a slump, it's not always the worst idea to do the opposite of what you think is the right thing to do. And so typically the best way to break a slump is just to start drinking. It's a must win 
must win. The boys are buzzing though, it's good. I'm waiting for my girl to get out here. I don't know where she is. We're screwed if she doesn't come out. Team defense is huge here. I think we all know that, so let's just go. We're going to try to get the first dub, a couple toeys at least, and uh, we'll see what happens. Guaranteeing a win. I've never guaranteed anything in my life before, and it seems super fun because if we lost, who cares? You can cut it. <laughs> Game two was must win. My reputation's on the line. Their reputation's on the line. Not a good shot. Let's go. Right back at him. Come on now. Come on, Babs. Nobody battles harder than Babs. Yeah, Babs, nice battle, nice battle. When in doubt, you should give a woman the chop. I mean, she was our best player by far. Uh, honestly, Babs has been a fire for us. She's, she's got a fucking a grinder. She's been burying people on the wall. She scored, I think, five goals last game. Great addition. Good step, good step. Babs is money on the puck. Doing great. Making moves on offense. Look at this. Look at this. Time, Dee. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, two, two go, two go. Yeah. What a snipe, memes. What a snipe. Like Drew and you go. Oh, every. I don't like me. That Bay Boys, that Bay Boys. Fuck me. That's what we can't have. We get leads, we can't keep them. I don't know the problem. Is. Big difference from this team than in Winnipesaukee. A lot of positivity in between periods. Very vulnerable game. We just had another lead we blow. Defense is key though. Don't let them shoot, even from the outside. I think we're going to win this one. We just got to play good D. In Winnipesaukee, we were gassed. We're talking about how out of shape we are. Muskoka, we're saying we can beat these guys. <laughs> There you go, yeah, white man. man. Yeah. Hey, way to tuck her home. Keep grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep grinding. Keep yeah, grinding. Yeah. Keep grinding. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Dude, we're playing well. Um, we might win this one. We're going to dig this out. We got our secret weapon. Yeah, still there. Still there. Hell yeah, That's bad, yeah, man. There she goes. That's my girl. Hey, stay greasy for these final minutes. All right, you guys, one minute. Can feel it, boys. Can feel it, boys. <laughs> You know, I, I can safely say that this was the best day of my life. You know, a bunch of out of shape employees of Barstool Sports came together and pulled off one of the best upsets pawn hockey has ever seen. We were no longer winless losers, and it felt so good. I knew as soon as we won, I could just start drinking buds. And as soon as we got that one win, it's exactly what I did. I'm 100% on guarantees now. Since that day in Lake Muskoka, I've often been asked what the best moment was. Well, besides having a few buds with the boys and Babs and shooting the shit, it was the sight of young men and a young woman standing as one, getting the party started and giving their company what it needed most. A chance to fucking believe. I mean, granted we lost game three, but who, who gives a shit? After Muskoka, Chief would pursue his lifelong passion of being a stunt double. Riggsy Dangles decided to leave the ice to focus on fixing the short game. Babs would go on to fight at Rough and Rowdy, decisively winning its first ever four-on-one handicap match. Jordy returned to Philly and went to prison. No surprise. After retiring from hockey again, Rudy swiped right and got married a few times. He's got 15 kids. YP, while in search of Bigfoot, would go missing in the great outdoors. Feidelberg? Well, Feidelberg finally had a heart attack. Grinelli still captains the team to this day, but they still haven't won shit. Erica would go on to run for president with her successful campaign being run from the moon. She'll probably get a third term. And me, well, I may not remember how to skate or how I got here, but I'll never forget the miracle on Muskoka.